Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hill, and I'm going to give you a glimpse at my artistic practice. My artistic style has definitely evolved over the years. My older works are very much influenced by geometric abstraction, and I still incorporate this style in my pieces today. However, I recently realized that the crisp, taped-off lines and overall tightness of geometric abstraction was a way for me to cope with my existence in this world. The intersection of my blackness and my womanhood doesn't really afford me very much power systemically, and I was using geometric abstraction to, in a way, regain control, but through my artwork. This realization was a pivotal moment for me because I soon realized that trying to have control over everything at all times is one, not healthy, and two, not realistic. So, I made a conscious decision to try and combat this. My most recent body of work includes organic forms and loose, wobbly lines, and this just acts as a way for me to not be in control. This is me allowing myself to be vulnerable in my work and to not feel like I have to be perfect at all times. This big push against perfectionism has led to the incorporation of text and words in my work as well. I've wanted to explore the use of text and words for the longest time, but I was afraid to do so because I didn't want to do it the wrong way. But the thing is, there is no right or wrong way to do this. Once I came to this conclusion, I decided to jump straight into the deep end. I wrote down my streams of consciousness on 30 bright pink lawn signs, and I put them in a front yard for everybody to see. This was a scary, but very exhilarating experience for me because, personally, I'm not the best at public vulnerability, but I'm starting to realize that it's something I really need to work on, for my own sake. This newest body of work is about being okay with not being okay. A lot of us tend to detour around our negative emotions because we're afraid of feeling them, but we're doing ourselves a great disservice. By doing this, we are denying ourselves the human experience of feeling a full range of emotions. The goal of my proposed project is to invite viewers to actively engage with their emotions.